All right, hello everybody and welcome. My name is John and today I'm gonna do a demonstration roast of some coffee on this coffee roaster here I made a few years ago for less than $15. Um, I made a video about this, but I didn't show actually the coffee roaster in use in that video. So that's why I'm doing this today. Now, as you can see, this is a very simple construction. I got two stainless steel mesh colanders that are identical. And then I just fastened them together with these hose clamps. So it stays together pretty well. And I'm gonna hold it by this handle and shake it over the flame here on my camping stove. Now, you could do this inside if you had a gas range and a powerful vent hood. Um, I have an electric range and a really crappy vent hood and my uh, all of the smoke detectors in our entire building are outrageously sensitive so I'm out here on this camping stove but you would not necessarily need to do this at your house. Um, this is very cool. The, the, the two sides of the colanders will stay together when you're roasting because you're holding it by the handle but it opens just enough to allow me to pour the beans in. And then later I'm gonna dump the beans out into a bowl when I'm done with my roast. One thing to know about this is that because air will just travel straight through this thing, you do have to get right down into the flame because this chamber will not actually trap any heat whatsoever. The heat's just gonna blow right past through there. So you don't have to really worry about scorching your beans, but you do have to keep this thing moving the whole time um, I have been able to do half pound, ro uh, half pound batches in this, no problem. The only issue with that is that you're holding half a pound somewhere a little bit away from your body and moving it back and forth for maybe 10 to 15 minutes. So that can be a little tiring, but if you already have a camping stove or a gas range and you're curious about coffee roasting and you can track down some identical colanders, you know, for 15, 20 bucks or less, this is a really easy and effective way to begin your coffee roasting journey. So as a first step, this is a great way to do it and I highly recommend you give it a try. With any handheld roaster, you're gonna need to wear gloves just to be safe especially outdoors. The wind is unpredictable. It may move the flame closer to my hand. Um, so that can create some issues unless you have a glove for protection. Also outdoors, if the flame is moving around, um, you know, you might not always be able to replicate the same roast that you did before, but I, you can roast some decent coffee in this type of setup. And so that's what I want to show you today. So hopefully I remember how to do this. All right, so let's load it up. So open this. Oh, that's embarrassing. All right, 95%, that ain't bad. So as you can see, I can toss these around as much as I want. Nothing's coming out of there, so we're all good to go. Okay, let's start the flame. So this can be quite challenging in the daytime because you can't see the flame. Um, so it's a little easier at night, but I wanted you to be able to see what I'm doing. So let me get the beans down in here. I'm just gonna start gently shaking them around. So you don't have to worry about moving the beans too much because the colander is not trapping heat. Um, although if you had a larger batch, you would want to move a little more. I did find that rather than switching hands, it was more comfortable to just have both hands together the whole time and just go for this light shaking motion and then sometimes swirl it, sometimes flip it. So if you are gonna try this, I would recommend just making it into a meditation, really listening to the sound of the beans, staring at the beans, watching the color changes. Breathing through your nose and noticing the smells. Just get really involved into the process. That will make it more interesting and less tedious. One good thing about this method is that all the chaff, which is this, it's also called silver skin. It's this thing that gets released from the beans as they start to open up. It can be quite messy, but it all gets scraped off during this. So when I do dump these beans out eventually, there'll be 
literally no chaff left to deal with. So definitely gotten some yellowing now. The beans are beginning to become a light tan color. So we should be maybe two minutes away from first crack or something like that. We'll see. We're getting there. Oh, there goes an outlier. So hopefully you can hear those cracks. Um, I'm wearing the mic on my shirt, so I'm not sure if it'll pick it up very well, but. So these pops are coming really fast. So maybe I had it like down in the heat a little too much, but that's okay. Still gonna be good tasting coffee. I might back it off a little now or uh, raise it up a bit or start moving uh, more quickly. Okay, we're just gonna go a hair further. So now I'm just gonna shake this around for a little bit and then I'll set it down and just let it cool. Okay, so I'm just gonna set this down for a few minutes. Okay, moment of truth. Are you ready for this? Let's see how it looks. Okay, is it the most even roast ever? No, absolutely not. Some scorched ones, some less roasted ones. So that tells me that either I had it too close to the flame um, or I was moving it too slowly. It was probably too close to the flame though because it's daylight and I could not see the flame at all. So that's just a user error. But hey, if this was, if you made this yourself for 15 bucks, I mean, I think you'd be stoked if this was your first time roasting coffee. For sure, it's gonna taste really fresh, really bright and flavorful. And if your coffee doesn't turn out the way you want, you can always, always use it to make cold brew. All right, um, so there you have it. So I hope that that's helpful. Hope you're inspired to try this or look into some other options for coffee, coffee roasting. But if you're on a budget and you wanna do it yourself, this is a great way to go. For sure, this is gonna make some nice tasting cold brew, which is what I plan to use it for. But yeah, the one thing I would say is that if you're curious about coffee roasting, just figure out what your budget is and give it a go. It has been such a wonderful journey for me. I haven't paid for roasted coffee in like four or five years, and I don't think I ever will again. It's just so fun to roast, and it's so great to be able to reap the rewards of your own effort and your own experiments and discovery um, every day when you're making your drink. So yeah, that's it for it. Please let me know what you think. Um, let me know if you have any other additional questions. And if you wanna see some video more coffee roasting videos of the equipment I'm currently using, I'll leave a link in the description or you can click on this link right here. And thank you so much for joining me. I hope to see you in the next video. Have a good one.